What's going on everybody? Gabriel Bello here again with another Phoenix Pro Audio Review. So I'm here in Kannapolis Church of God. I got my brother Todd Fallen with me. He's the church drummer. He's been, how long have you been attending this church? Uh, off and on, probably 30 years. He's not that old. Over, <laughs> over 20 years is what he should have said, over 20 years. Yeah. So he's a... He used to be a soloist here, now he's doing the drums, and he actually got the first test when I was just getting the mic turned on, and I compared it to a uh, expensive, let's see, what is this? This is a Shure, it's Shure Beta 87C, and I'm not sure, let's see, let's go down here, we've got, these are, <laughs> well, those are the connection points. I can't see what they are, but I'll, we'll look it up and I'll put it on the screen. So these are expensive Sure units. I think they're somewhere between six, 700 bucks, maybe $800, probably not more than a thousand, but these are mid-level Sure, okay? And his initial reaction, I went side by side and said, check, 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 check. He said, the cheap one sounds better. Well, we cost effective is like the word we like. I think they sound exactly the same. So we're gonna take it around the sanctuary, the handhelds, both handhelds, and we're gonna um, we're gonna show what it sounds like. I'm gonna put it right here. The unit is right here at mixed position. So we're gonna test the range. We're gonna test the sound, and you're gonna get Todd's objective opinion on if it sounds any good. All right. So we're gonna leave you guys right here. This is this is the shore. Okay. Let's turn on the Phoenix Pro. So this is the Phoenix Pro PTU TU. So this is an AB. This is a two-channel system. I've only got one channel, one one uh, one one channel connected and selected one antenna, and it's right on top of a PTM33, which is not turned on. But we've also got that set up here in the house. So this is Shore. This is Phoenix Pro. This is Shore. This is Phoenix Pro. They're exactly the same. I have not really EQ'd this. This has no, there's no gating. There's no compression. This is just straight up, straight up. Now let's walk around and let's see what it sounds like. This is the Shore Mike. This is the Phoenix Pro. This is a third of cost. This is three times more expensive. This is one third the cost. And as you can tell, we've got no signal drop. There are eight other wireless units in this house. We're not having any issues. Let's go all the way to the corner so you can see how far away we're going. We're going all the way. Let's walk out. This is still the Phoenix Pro. This is the Shore. This is the Phoenix Pro. This is the Shore. We're walking around, coming back on the stage. Todd, what do you think? You think it's sharp? It's got more, a little bit more distinction. Now that might be because it's, it doesn't have any gating, compression, or EQ, which is that's a lesson for y'all. So check, check, check one. All right. We also have the brand new lapel. So we've got the belt pack. I can't remember the unit on this. It's just the UHF body pack. So, so this is and this is. This feels as sturdy. I'm getting phasing because of the shore. So let's turn the shore off. This is as sturdy as my Sennheiser packs. The Phoenix Pro packs, so this one right here for the PTM33, plastic. Come over here, Todd. Tell me the difference, so tell me that, that feels, it's nice and light, right? Yep. Okay. Not sturdy, but it's also not gonna pull your pants down, so it's not gonna fall because of its own weight. Feel that. Metal. Yeah. So that's, that's got some, that's got some, I mean, goodness gracious, that's like twice as heavy. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we're going to turn on, we're going to turn off the handheld and we're going to turn on the lapel. We're going to turn this up a little bit because I think the mic is a little bit uh, turned. All right. Let's check this out. This sounds pretty good. Again, it's not a Q, so it's got a little bit of good in the mid range. But still, it doesn't sound horrible. It just doesn't sound like one of those speaking voice. And let's put it down on the pants. Let's walk around. This is all the way out here. I'm preaching, I'm talking, I'm outside. I'm going into the hallway of the sanctuary. And now I'm coming back into the sanctuary. Do the signal drop. Signal did not drop. You're obviously not gonna be that far. This is a pretty large sanctuary. I think it exceeds 600, 700. 
with the overflow. With the overflow of this sanctuary seats a thousand, I'm not sure of the distance between front of house and the stage, but for most congregations, this is going to be more than what you will need. Phoenix Pro, this is why I support this company, this is why I'm all about their products, because especially for the working musician, the working man, the working musician, the local congregation, if you don't have thousands and thousands of dollars for audio equipment, you, even if you have thousands and thousands of dollars of audio equipment, get Phoenix Pro and save some money. You can buy better drums. That's right. You can buy some cymbals. You can buy, you can, you can, you can, you can pay the musicians. Oh. What? Oh. What? Don't tell me what I said that. All right. This is solid. I can't wait to use this out in the field and we'll have some more videos when we do that. But this is a great for an initial, initial test. And uh, maybe I can get, uh, get some of these in here on a Sunday, so. Make sure you check out, use my referral link, it's in the description. Use the discount code Gabriel Bello. All together, I think it'll save you about 13%. And on top of what this thing is cost, it, that, that's tremendous. So check it out. Jesus loves you, so do I. Take care. Thanks, Todd.